Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we are going to talk about what is the difference between the DVR and MVR. DVR stands for Digital Video Recorder. MVR stands for Network Video Recorder. It sounds pretty much similar. And here we got the MVR and this is the DVR. First, let me put these two together and see whether we can find the difference between these two or not. This is the RJ45 network port. We have this network port on both MVR and the DVR. So we can connect DVR or MVR to a router or network for remote accessing. It's the same. And here we got two USB, also two USB on the DVR. So we can use the mouse to operate the DVR and MVR, no different. And this is the power input, power input. Both devices also need a power source. And now let's move to the audio. This is the audio output. And also for the DVR, there's audio input and output. And now we got the HDMI and VGA output. We also have the HDMI VGA output on the DVR. So this is for live viewing the video from the camera. So there's since really everything looks the same. Now just leave one more different, the BNC input, which is supposed to work with the analog camera. We do know we cannot connect the IP camera through this BNC input because the IP camera uses the K5E or K6 internet cable, it's the RJ45 network connector, but this is the BNC connector. Now it's getting more confusing because it's even from the connector, it's also the same. Okay, let's start from different way from this thing. This is the hard drive. It's pretty much the same as the hard drive we use with the computer. Both DVR and the MVR need the hard drive, right? So we need to install this hard drive to this DVR and MVR so it can record the file to this hard drive. We do know the video needs to be digitalized before it can save it to the hard drive. What's that supposed to mean? The digitalized means all the information needs to be encoded into the zero and one. This is the analog digital recorder. So the information input through this BNC is just analog signal. It's not being digitalized. So the main purpose for the DVR is digitalize, encode video into a zero and one, so inventory, it can be saved to the hard drive. Now let's move to the MVR. Actually, the purpose for the MVR is not digitalized because all the video is being digitalized at the camera end, it's the IP camera. Now we can see the difference, right? The information coming to this MVR is just, all, everything is being encoded, it's just zero and one. But now the video coming through this BNC connector is analog signal. It's not being digitalized. The DVR is handling the encoding to convert all the information to 0 and 1 and save to the hard drive. This is the first purpose for the DVR and MVR. There's another purpose about providing the live video from the camera so we know what's happening in the scene. The MVR, remember, that all the information is being encoded in the camera. So we cannot just have the live video from the TV directory. It needs to be decoded to convert the 0 and 1 back to the real image. This is the major purpose that MVR is doing. It doesn't need to encode. It just receives the information from the IP camera and save the hard drive directory. It's quite easy for the MVR to record the information. But to have the live video, it's a little bit tough for him because it needs to decode to convert the information back. Okay. For the DVR, there's no need because the information, I mean, the video coming through this BNC port is just the analog signal. It can output to the TV directory. Now we see the difference. What is the consequence for these two, two kind of device? For the DVR, we will have the live video. It's real time. Why? Because there's no decoding, encoding before we can see the live video on the TV. It's just real time. It's the directory connection from the camera to this BNC output. In BNC input. For the MVR, you can always feel the delay. You see, the video is being encoded at the camera end, turn to zero and one, and travels through the internet cable. And then MVR receives this message, it needs to decode, put the zero and one back together, so we can see the live video on the TV. The encoding, decoding take time. There's about 20 million seconds. It's very small, but you can feel it when you test the IP camera system. Now, the second thing is about the video quality the image quality. You see, for the IP camera system, the video is being encoded at the camera end, so you get the best quality from the camera. And during the transmission, it's not going to lose because it's just zero and, zero and one. 
But for the analog system, the video is not being saved to hard drive and not being encoded before it reached to the DVR. So there are always video loss during the transmission in the analog DVR camera system. Now we know the difference, we know how to choose. If you just need the video quality, especially the video quality saved to the hard drive, you should go to the IP camera system. But if you need the real time live video on the TV monitor, then you can choose the DVR analog camera system. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.